outdoor home, older historic cat home has, this is it. Come inside. You know I like a good front porch. So, expanded front porch here. You have a front porch and a stair as well. So, older homes tend to have your formal living rooms or all your rooms that can be divided up really however you want. This is their formal living room here. The current owners do live here. They do not run it as an official bed and breakfast. Previous owners have run it as an official bed and breakfast. My owners have run it as an Airbnb and they've rented out rooms. The home, and I'll tell you more about that when we get upstairs, but the home is on some sort of European tour where Europeans come, stay here, a lot of them sleep on the balcony. All of our bedrooms have fireplaces in here, tons, tons, natural light. Off of the formal living room is their bedroom. You have beautiful wood floors. You have the built-ins at the front. You see Meg in a mirror. <laughs> and it has an ensuite bathroom. A good ensuite bath. Attached to this room is an, another bedroom, but they're currently using it as an office. This one has a larger walk in closet that can also be accessible from the master. So that's off in this corner. You have your old wooden windows. Thirty-five, thirty-two square feet, five bedrooms, five full bathrooms, a third story that's left to be finished out. So Meg's taking you down into the laundry room, and that's another full bathroom off over there. If we come back into the foyer entry, we're worrying ourselves. Our front door is here, and our kitchen is off. And then I have the side entry. This would give you access to all the upstairs, and if you had any guests that stayed over. So dining room area here. It's a beautiful built-in that you only see on the older homes. They just don't build them like this, like they used to. This part of the house was an addition at some point in time. I'm not sure when current owners did not make this addition, but it has a commercial kitchen. You have your commercial sink set up. You have the big wide spot for the commercial fridge. You have the big wide spot for the commercial stove. We just had an agent caravan here from 11 to 2 today with a fantastic turnout. So it was easy to serve, easy to entertain, easy to have the guests come in and out, visit with me. I'll show you at the end, but there's a pottery studio out back. We'll check out the inside of the house first. You have a breakfast area here, space for a little desk area in the corner. That side entry porch is going to be where there's a car covered carport area. So coming through the living room. Off on this side of the house, we'll just take a little peek right here, then we'll go out. There's a little courtyard area on the back side. Now this, is, this would be looking at the house off to the left. So you have your laundry area with lots of storage that brings you back to that full bathroom with a shower that connects to the office. So we kind of made a full circle here. We're going to be doing four homes live today. So we're going to walk you through St. Martinville, we're going to go into Bruce Park next, and then into Youngsville. So this is the side entry where my car is parked and where the owners would park. This door closes off to the rest of the house, so if you do use it as an Airbnb, you can lock the guest off and they don't have to get, have access to the main house. Let's go upstairs. This is my favorite part of the house. They updated the space in here. This is all new carpet on the stairways. This wallpaper is new. Okay, so we're on the second floor, and the first room is the Evangeline room. All of the bedrooms in here have ensuite baths, so you can rent them room by room. You have your tub, your clawfoot tub, your toilet, and then your sink. All the fireplaces have been capped off. They came in and they painted, they added, so the current owners added central AC to the second floor. It did not have it before. They redid all the ductwork and then painted. Everything is freshly painted. From the van, we go into Josephine. Josephine has what could be my favorite furniture. Cute little twin beds in here. Here's your little toilet area. And then you come around to the sink and the tub, another pocket tub. Tons of natural light in all of these rooms. Really tall ceilings, lots of detail. And then Montgomery is going to be the biggest of the three rooms. 
Montgomery has access to the front porch. I'll go open that up. We have a sitting area, a full bed here, and then a much larger bathroom. windows on one side of the house all the way through to the other. These wood floors, you see the exposed bricks in the fireplace. It's huge up here. So if someone wanted to create, I had someone look at it and wanted to create this as the master, and the rest of the house would just be a hotel. It is zoned commercial. So if you wanted to run it as an Airbnb or as a restaurant, then there's chances there. Okay, you're gonna go outside, check out the pottery studio in the backyard. Joel's here. He may he'll ask you a question. <laughs> hey Joel. <laughs> All right. So pottery studio is how it's set up now. So the electrical's all in place. There's a window unit in here, a very big space if you need it as a workshop, as a hobby room, if you homeschool, there's plenty of possibility in this space. Go into the backyard. So huge, huge live oak trees back here. You're, you span an entire block on North Main. Um, so back here, there's double gate access. You can see they have a boat park. The fence is redone, so that's all updated. This is another shed right here for more storage. We have a little fire pit area. And then back to that little courtyard area. Love Triumph, and that is a gem as well. We've seen a little while. 